Hey, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be trying to explain the entire method behind getting the god homic. Can you find the homics? It's the new hardest one in the game, harder than Black Hole, uh, and it took some solving. <laughs> there's a lot of really well hidden stuff for this, and there's also a lot of really, really difficult puzzles and ways of hiding information that are really interesting to go into. But regardless, we'll get into that a bit. I was not the first to find this one, I want to fully disclose that. I was a completely separate group, I'll credit them in the description. Uh, but I didn't get a chance to do this one because time zones and I would have been asleep when I thought it would have been solved. So it sucked, but oh well. Regardless, I've gone through and done it all legit now. And well, let's look at it. The hint. Revamp realm, where you prevent crashing, something is missing. Thrust. So first of all, we've got to go to the revamp realm. And it's really, really easy to find. Just behind this tree in here. And it's a really, really cool area. Because when it sends me through, you'll see that they've actually took the effort to go and revamp every single one of the central nine islands of the main game. The original nine islands. And it looks incredible. If you go around and explore this all in your own time, which I strongly, strongly recommend you do you will see just how well detailed and how cool this place actually is. Anyway, where you'd prevent crashing, something is missing. Thrust. Uh, when I saw this, I initially thought it was the developer console, but you can check this and you'll see that nothing's actually in there. It's just the Adonis startup script. Uh, what you're actually meant to do here is you're meant to go into the settings, right? Where you'd prevent crashing, right? And you're meant to thrust down on the scroll bar. You do this five times. You'll hear a sound effect and a secret setting will appear. Activate Heavenfall. And that's the first step. We've got a, well, it's not really a cutscene, but we've got a little cinematic thing playing right now and you'll see what happens in a second. Text going to pop up at the bottom of the screen telling us exactly what we have to do. There's energy cubes. All falling from the sky. There's energy cubes attached to each one of these pieces in case of emergencies. However, the only way to give them energy is through hidden passwords. To find those passwords, you're going to have to venture through Opposite World, Grayscale Realm, Vermilion Void, Casino, Owl, Amethyst Abyss, The Cyber Zone, Trollhattan, and Celestial Dome. I wish you luck, Traveler. So, basically, what's happened here is that in every single one of the nine areas, one of these energy cube things is spawned like this. For example, this one's for Cyber Realm. And you've got to go and you've got to head to every single... What is it? Actually, it's not every single realm in the game. But you've got to head to almost every single realm in the game. And find something hidden in them in order to unlock a password to activate the energy cube. So, I'll go through in the order they appeared. The first one it mentioned was Opposite Realm. So, I'm going to rejoin the game briefly. Uh, and I'll head over to Opposite Realm. So, right... Opposite Realm is the one that's probably widely acknowledged as the easiest one, right? Uh, oh, I joined a public. Rup. Either way, Realm Travel. I'm not going to show you how to get to the realms in this video. There's already a million other guides online to do that. So I'm sorry if you wanted that in this video. It would have just taken way too long otherwise. So, what we're doing in each of these nine realms is we have to explore and we have to hunt for a decal of the number 250 hidden somewhere in the realm. So in Opposite Realm, it's quite a hard example, but I might miss the jump once or twice. I'll have to edit this video almost definitely because, yeah, there are some places I'm going to be dying a lot. But regardless, if you come all the way over here to this massive blue pillar at the side and look underneath this small blue pillar here, you'll notice there's a little bit of an overhang, right? Let me walk to the edge. It's very faint to see, but there's a decal of saying 250 there. Yeah, I missed that. I'll have to do some cuts for this video, so 
uh, yeah, if, uh, if it jump cuts anywhere and you're not sure where you are, just cut back to where I was previously and you should be able to piece together the location. Second time's a charm. There you go, nice and in. Uh, it sticks out ever so slightly, so if you jump outwards and then hop back in, it seems like you won't make it, but you actually do. Either way, there's a 250 decal located here. You walk into it, and you get this code. There's one room like this in every single area of the game. Just isolated, off to the side, pretty hard to find. Uh, I would show you where the rest of the map is, but I can't from here. Either way, A, B, 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 A, A, B, 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 A, all the way down, whatever that is. Uh, it's, this is a cipher, right? It says something, say, quantify. What this is actually called is a Baconian cipher. Uh, Baconian ciphers are pretty easily identifiable, identifiable by the fact that they, uh, where is it showing my bookmark, bookmarks? No idea what it's doing there. Oh well. Uh, either way, uh, Baconian cipher. Decode.fr. Really, really good website for solving ciphers. Regardless, if you go in and type that entire string of A's and B's that you just found and decrypt it, come over here, you'll notice it decodes to opposite comic. Right? A, B, 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 A, A. Say quantify. So this decodes to opposite chromic. I keep saying chromic. Opposite homic. Say quantify. Right? Let's go and do that. I should mention now. I've just know I've I've recently learned that in all three of my videos so far I've been saying homic wrong. It's a actually a Polish word. It's pronounced homic, not chromic. So I'm sorry if I messed that up again in any of these videos. <laughs> I'll try and correct myself if I do. But regardless, you've got to go over to opposite homic, and you've got to say the word quantify in chat, and it will appear on screen. The password is Maslow. I have probably mispronounced that as well. I have not checked yet. I am sorry if I have. I, what I can tell you is that that's also a Polish word and it translates to butter. If you didn't already know. Regardless. There we go. We've got one of the nine passwords. I'm going to return back to Revamp Realm now. Just for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to do this after every single one. But if you go back into Revamp Realm and you say the word Maslow... One of those energy cubes will disappear, will float up into the sky. You've unlocked one of the nine passwords. So, right. What was next on my list? Okay, grayscale. So, grayscale one was the second last one solved, I believe. It's a really, really difficult one, actually. Uh, because not only is the cipher itself incredibly difficult to actually find, like the little 250 decal to find where you've got to go for it, but the uh, actual cipher from there is very, very well obfuscated. Uh, it's not it's not at all obvious what you have to do immediately. So, yeah. This is, in my opinion, the best hidden 250, or the hardest to find 250. Uh, it's all the way over here, all the way at the back corner of Grayscale. Uh, it took... I should actually probably say this. There was a guy called Levitator Levy who helped me find a few of the last 250s that I could not find. Uh, they found Al for me and they found Grayscale. So I'm going to link their channel in the description. Go check them out. They've been really helpful. But regardless, the 250. I believe you've got to come down to this side over here. You've got to go past all of the old structures, the old studded structures. You've got to walk off here and kind of flick in to land on this platform here. It's really, really hard to see. I'm not at all sure if you can see it from here, actually. But if you look down here... No, you can't see it from your camera angle here. What you've got to do is you've got to drop down here against the left of that pillar there. And it will teleport you into this room. Sorry I can't show you that any better. Not much I can do about it. But regardless, there is a 250 decal there. If you manage to see it yourself, go and check it out. Anyway. We come over here and we see this string of characters on the wall. U, C, F, Z, T, da, da 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 Over it goes. What this actually is, is a YouTube channel link. So if I go to YouTube and I go over to my channel, say, you notice it as this weird string of characters at the end, right? If I copy and paste the string we just got, it will take us to 
this YouTube channel. Oops, I've put HTTPS in there twice. Been very smart there. Either way, cross YT business. This might be a tough one to crack. I kind of hope that it isn't solved for some time, but we're sure you guys can do it. This community is a pretty smart one after all. Anyway, thanks. Goodbye. You will find nothing about this channel by looking at its playlists, its channels, its videos, or anything. Actually, in the playlist, it does say, add a homic at the end of your password if you find it. So if you go to the about page, actually, the clue is hidden right here in this description. If you open up inspect element by pressing Control shift i and going to the three dots at the side and clicking more tools and developer tools, that's how you do it on Chrome. You can probably do it in other places as well, but, but I know how you do it in Chrome, so I'm going to say it for that. Regardless, if you look at the description, you'll notice it's got this weird and shy thing over the place, and when you double click on it, it disappears. These and shy things are actually what's called soft hyphens. They're pretty much invisible characters that break up two words. Sorry, break 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 a single word into two parts so that they can go over line breaks. Uh, so what you're meant to do here is you're meant to realize that, okay, if I take every word that does not have this and shy thing in it as a zero, and every word that does have this and shy thing in as a one, then I can convert this into binary code. Now, if I go to decode fr again and take this zero and one sequence we've just got from converting these zeros and ones, so this is a zero, might is a one, b is a one, a is a zero, tough is a zero, all the way through and go through that entire paragraph, we get this binary text. And if you decrypt it, you get the phrase askew. Askew just means slanted, by the way. That's an English word. If cool, you, cool Google Easter egg, actually. If you type in askew into Google, the entire page becomes askew. becomes tilted. Which is a cool Easter egg that not many people know about. Regardless. We've got the phrase askew here. And you remember we've got to add homic to the end of the password. So the password here we get is askew homic. So that's grayscale done. Up next, what have we got? Vermilion Void. Let's hop back into Vermilion Void. Vermilion Void is a pretty difficult one, I believe. Yeah, this one was the... This one's a... Right, I'll, I'll tell you when we get there. There's a... Well, again, like normal, there's a 250 decal hidden somewhere in the, in the realm. In this case, it's underneath the lip of where another homic is hidden, actually. Uh, I forget what one it is. I think it's it's not Revoid. Is it Revoid? I, f I forget. I'm sorry. Might be Deimos. Deimos. Whatever it's called. I can't pronounce stuff. I can't pronounce words. Oh, well. It's probably Deimos. Hints look under. Either way, you come on all the way over here. All the way down. You'll notice you can hop down onto this platform here. And you can jump on the inside of it as well. This jump's pretty difficult to line up. But you can... Bruh. Anyway, as I was saying, this jump here is pretty difficult to line up. I recommend coming close, using shift lock to know that you're perfectly in line with it, and just hopping to the side. I would say you can get it every time, but... I just disproved that. <laughs> anyway, you come all the way down here, and look underneath. There's the 250. Just got to climb on that to get it, and you'll get this string here. Now, this is a really, really odd thing, if you don't know it, actually. What this actually is, is some kind of link, right? Uh, I'll tell you that much. But what we're actually looking for here... Uh, is there one in my notifications? Right. Uh, can I follow that? Can I go to that message? No, I can't. Promo to this guy, I guess. Anyway. This LC equals thing is actually a linked comment on YouTube. If you go to any YouTube video at all, uh, for example, if I go to my channel and go on to Black Hole, self-promo, shameless, uh, you can actually, you notice how YouTube separates things by and in the URL here. For example, and t equals 11 seconds. So for example, that's a timestamp. It means it starts at 11 seconds. And this and AB channel equals Beanie Boy means that it comes from the YouTube channel, Beanie Boy, right? 
So if I remove those ands and add a, my own and in here, and I add the linked comment thing that we just got earlier, lt equals that, and reload the website, I can scroll down and I will note... Is it not working? For some reason it's not working. I'll do it on the original video. I'll post the link I've got right now. Uh, this is where it was originally posted, by the way. Hi, Theo. Anyway, I could have picked absolutely any video on YouTube, but this is the best option. Well, now that you're here, I might as well tell you what to do. If you made it here alone, please make sure to share this with all the other people hunting for the Homic. At least let them catch up for this one puzzle. You're going to be going down a YouTube rabbit hole using every single link variation I could find. Have fun. Right, so... Theodark, a month ago, posted this comment to this Rickroll, but it never starts video. I should mention, it does not matter what YouTube video you add that LC bit to. At all. You can post that on any video, which surprised me. Uh, and no matter what video you add it to, that comment will always appear at the top with a highlighted comment caption, even if it's not the original video it was posted on. Which surprised me, and it took me a while to find that. But regardless. UGW1S, all the way through, right? This is actually a community post link. If I go to the website youtube.com forward slash post slash this, uh, it will bring me to a community post link. Uh, and this gives you a weird image over here, pretty hard to see. Uh, this was a you, this was a post, sorry, community post he uploaded a while ago, actually. Anyway, Vermilion Void. This image here, you want to download it, and you want to open it with some sort of image editing software. I like to use Paint.net, because it's easy, quick, nice and simple. Because what you would normally do is you'd normally go with your brightness and contrast settings, up the contrast, change the brightness until something works. Uh, but actually, it has an auto level button on the side that you can use to just automatically just pick out any slightly different shades. And yeah, it gives you this... Oh, I rotated it the wrong way like an idiot. Anyway, it gives you this string here. Uh, this is the next link we have to deal with. Uh, this is actually a YouTube playlist link. So if I copy that and go to a YouTube playlist link, add it into the URL over there, it gives us another code. The video comedy isn't important. That was also the first video in the playlist that said to add Homic to the end of your password. It's just important. It's unimportant. It's a placeholder thing. But it's only there because you need a video in the playlist and the title was all that mattered. Regardless. You take that and it will take you to a YouTube video link. It says this homic has definitely been in the works since February 2016. And in the description of this, you'll see the next link. Fart gameplay. Um, this one took me a while to get. Uh, this is actually a clip, a YouTube clip. I did not know of these URLs, actually. I did not know clips were something that existed. Uh, either way, I thought there'd be more YouTube links, to be honest. Anyways, your password is ubiquitous. So we've got three out of the nine passwords so far, and we're 20 minutes into the explanation. This does not bode well. <laughs> anyway, the million void password is ubiquitous. Awesome. So, what's next? We've got to go to Casino now. Let's hop into Casino. This is one of the hardest ones, in my opinion. Uh, because not only is the puzzle for it incredibly, incredibly difficult to figure out, you also have to rebeat Chombucks. Or Hombucks. You know, at that point, do, do I even bother pronouncing that correctly? Yeah, it's a really, really difficult one. I'll show you my strategy for Chombucks. But it's... Uh, I'm not sure it's optimal, nor the easiest one. What is my robots doing? This is not normal. There we go. Menu, Realm, Travel, Casino. So... The 250 on this one is unfortunately hidden in the John Bucks room, which means you need to equip the shirt given by the employee of the century. I'm going to go and do that now. I should have done that way earlier. Uh, where's the shirt? WW Employee World, whatever it is. I'm going to reset character. 
you got to go on in there. It's a pretty, pretty difficult thing to do. Right. My strategy for this, you've got to walk yourself over to the left down here, and you've got to jump and press A at the same time. Next, you've got to line yourself up pretty close over here, so you're, you're between these two lasers, and you've got to jump up and to the left. And you've got to line yourself sideways over here, get pretty close in, and just jump over those two lasers there. Here, you can just walk under. You're shorter than the lasers, don't worry. One more laser to jump over there, and you can duck under all of these. Next, you've got this section here. This jump's pretty difficult. Don't try to jump too far to the left, because this laser here will get you. Just want to sneak in over there. And then from here, it's all about patience. You've got to be nice and slow. You walk too fast and your leg or arm will hit a laser. Same on the way out. Even if you think you're out, just be patient. It will come over nicely. Right. Then one more laser to jump back over. And you can place the bomb. Takes a while to explode. There you go, and you can go on in. And if you look closely, I'm pretty sure it's behind here somewhere. Where is it? Did they move it? That's right, it was here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay, sorry. I didn't show you where that was, but it, w it, was, it was there. Either way. This room. Code isn't immediately obvious until you look directly above you. This is the Mediafire logo. Uh, and this is actually a link to a Mediafire uh, file being hosted online. If I take that off and go to the Mediafire link. Mediafire.com forward slash file forward slash whatever. And it gives you this image here. Uh, you download that and it will give you an image. Let me open that quickly. Uh, casino. This image here. Now, you can look at this all you want. You can bring out whatever image editing software you want. You can try to de-swirl it, de-blur it. No matter what you do, you will get nothing out of this image. What you are actually meant to do is you're meant to use something like uh, a program like 7-Zip. Because there is actually... Th this image is actually a zip file, kind of. It's got another image embedded inside of it that you cannot normally access via the Windows File Explorer. Uh, you double click on it and it brings you to this x.png thing up here. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to explain how that's happened, but basically if you look in the bits for this image, if I open it with notepad, oh, sorry. Uh, if I open it with notepad, for example, open with, choose another app, notepad. Uh, if you scroll down in here, you'll see patterns for a uh, another basic another png embedded in there basically uh either way you look at that image you can open that with paint.net in fact i'll do that right now or any image editing software and again you can do exactly the same thing as i showed you before with the auto level trick it will show you all of the things up here that you normally wouldn't see otherwise what you've got to do here it's basically just a giant jigsaw puzzle you've got to take words so you've got to take the letters and you've got to move them about in places that they fit together. Oh, didn't mean to drag that like that. For example, here. Those line up pretty well. And if you end up going through the entire thing, you end up with this September. I'm not sure if I just did it wrong or if it's actually not there, but I don't believe there was a piece between the E and the M in the actual puzzle. If you're a developer, let me know, because I could have just been stupid. That's definitely a possibility. Anyway, that's the code for Casino, September. Right. Uh, so that's... How many is that? That's four out of the nine. And we're 30 minutes in. To the recording, at least. Not necessarily the video. I've taken a few cuts. Anyway. Up next, we've got Al. Let's go back to find the homics. Here we go. I'm not going to pretend to hide it. I absolutely despise the area for Al. <laughs> it's 
it's really, really difficult to go through. But I do think that the puzzle for it, maybe not like actually finding the 250, but the puzzle for it is probably my, actually no, it's my second favorite of the bunch. Troll Hatton's quite a treat. Very nerdy, that one, I guess. Anyway, you go into out. Uh, apologies if you are not liking jump scares and the likes. Anyway, I believe this is the fastest route. I'm going to go down to the main area for Al so I can deactivate him. Sorry, went the wrong way though. I'm going to go down the main area so I can deactivate him and not have to worry about getting killed by him. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, so once you've walked into this room, uh, Owl will be disabled. So you don't have to worry about him at all. And it's time to find the way back. I don't quite know the shortest route here, so... Oh no, I do. I remember this. I'm pretty sure I figured it out a while ago, but... Sorry, that's the wrong way. No, it's this way. And then it's down here, over the side here, through here, across here, and out here. That might be the shortest route, it might not. If you've never been up here, this is for Jigsaw Chomic, not Chomic Comic. You've got to do this weird wrap around here. And then there's this really difficult head hitter. There you go, nice, done it. I was worried I'd have to do that all again. Anyway, the 250 is hidden outside here. Oh, and here's Jigsaw Chomic. Comic. Ah, if you didn't know really sneaky hiding spot. Anyway, I don't think you can see it from here, but the 250 isn't hidden on any easily accessible spot. It's actually right over here. If I hop on out and back, you can see it barely just there. I'm gonna hop into it. There you go. Oh, the purple still kills you, by the way. And there's your code. U-G-Y-R all through that. Uh, I'm gonna leave the game from here, and I'm gonna go to the YouTube video that that links to. If you go to that YouTube video, it's actually a clip link, uh, and it says Insanity. I'm going to watch a full video. You come on over here, watch what the title says, da, 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 all completely irrelevant. Uh, the actual content of this video doesn't matter, but it is a treat to watch. I recommend going to this video later. And if you turn on closed captions or open transcript, I'm just going to open transcript, you get a user ID. Now, if you go to the Roblox account associated with this user ID, the last Chomic act, last Chomic account, uh, you'll notice immediately in their experiences there's a place called the Ob. You have to complete a pretty difficult obby in order to get the next part of the code. It's about a minute and a half long, uh, and um, it's got camera bug. If that affects you, it affects me for sure. I can tell you that. But yeah, there's this... Uh, I'm gonna take a while here. But yeah, there's this minute and a half obby that you've got to go through in order to beat the entire thing. I'm gonna try and beat it quickly so I can keep my commentary going through it without... So there's not any dead silence, but... Over here, you've got to wrap around that truss. You've got to hop down here. Onto this ball. You can just walk off down there. Uh, this jump's pretty long. Uh, another wrap round here. Uh, you can't see it there, but there's a truss here. You've got to walk and jump across there. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, so you can just walk on over there, and you can just kind of truss, bounce against the top of that truss in order to get to this position here. If you angle yourself slightly diagonally here, uh, and go somewhat close to the top. There's a little gap so you can jump normally. You don't have to do any funky truss techniques. You just have to jump and land on this sphere. There's a sphere jump here. Try and jump at the end of the sphere. It's pretty hard to do those timings. If you're not used to sphere jumps. Uh, low roof bit here. This jump's a little bit awkward, I found. Uh, uh, if you go shift lock sideways here, you'll slide all the way down. So I don't recommend shift lock until you jumped there. You've got to hop on up here, jump down here. This is on a slant. You're, you've got to walk up the slant and then hop around him. That's a pretty awkward jump to get, right? 
I haven't touched it myself, but I'm pretty sure the kill brick on the ceiling kills you. I can't guarantee anything, though, because I've not touched it myself. I've been too afraid to try. It's possible without doing it, though, so if you can, try not to. That's a pretty tight jump. From here, you've got to jump onto the side here. I hit my head on this a few times and ended my run. You've got to jump out, then turn. Try not to cut directly across, because you will likely hit your head. Uh, this is a pretty long wrap. Oops. There you go. That proves my point. Can confirm the roof does kill you. Alright, back to this jump. It's quite a long wrap. This is a squeeze between those two blocks. Now you get to the sphere. Got to jump down here. Wrap around up here. Uh, where do you go from here? I miss it. Oh, over here. It's quite a hard jump to see. Quite a long wrap there. Stick out there. Jump down here. This is quite a long jump. Jump onto that. And this is a really scary jump right at the very end. Jump onto that truss. Oh, I almost missed that. Anyway, don't get too high here because you don't want to hit the kill brick on the ceiling. You don't need all the space. You want to just dodge that at the end. Awesome. Right. Go through this gate here. There's nothing in the room apart from this thing on the floor. This isn't the password, but 6OJO. Da 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 da. This is another YouTube link. Uh, so if I go and take a YouTube link, I, I go and take the YouTube URL. Uh, slash watch equals what we just found is going to bring us this video by Kubelo, one of the developers. You listen to the audio, it's a bit weird. It's nothing too crazy though. But you'll notice something very odd about this video is that if you skip to the end, the video will continue after the progress bar finishes. It looks like it's finished, but it's not. It's still going on. And if you wait a bit longer, you'll hear some really weird audio. I've got the video muted though. But as a result of this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually download the audio of this and open it in some sort of software. Or well, you can probably find something online to do this. But I'm going to use Audacity. If I open this video's audio, you'll see at the very end there. Anyway, yeah, it's really, really, really weird audio, right? So what you're actually going to do is you've got to go into a spectrogram for this. You'll see at the end here, you are foolish. The range is too small for you to comprehend. 0 to 1600 hertz. Sorry, 16,000 hertz. What you've actually got to do here is you've got to extend the reach, extend the range of your thing. Sorry, of the spectrogram. You can either zoom out or you can uh, just scroll up. I zoomed out. Sorry, I scrolled up. Good job. The password is 6MGST625 to all the way. The password is that. You use the good range. Ignore the message below if you see this. So, that's the password for Al. Awesome. No, I do not want to save that before closing. Right, up next, Amethyst. Amethyst is an interesting one. Amethyst is a very interesting one. I like the spot for the 250 here because it was the first place I would have considered checking. <laughs> uh, what you've got to do here, this one involves opening Roblox Studio for those of you who have that installed. Anyway, Amethyst Abyss. Wouldn't be surprised if you didn't. Until I started developing, I didn't really have it. I uninstalled it to save space, actually. Either way. You've got to go all the way up. What am I doing? There's no excuse for that. I'm sorry. Anyway. You've got to go up this ramp. And you've got to go through the entire... High structure thing. I'm not sure what to call it, but... There's this massive pillar up there that you have to climb. If you're not familiar with this route... Uh, there's a few comics of them up here. Anyway. You come up here, you'll see a slightly transparent path that you can jump up. You've got to go all the way up there. Almost there. There you go. And from here, you can jump down to this structure. It's quite a long jump. It's also very easy to mess up the angle for it, but... 
you get used to that type of jump after you've done it a few times. It shouldn't take more than a few attempts. Anyway, you come all the way over here. I scoured this entire thing a few times ago while I was looking for interstellar chomic. Comic, ah. When I learned where it actually was, I was very annoyed. <laughs> anyway, sorry, you've got to do a high jump to get up here. If you don't know how to do a high jump, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to explain it. You just got to kind of flick your camera. Uh, as you get onto the top to get yourself a little bit extra, extra elevation. But anyway, 250 is right here. It's quite a hard one to jump into, actually. Anyway, come up here. It gives you a user ID. Sorry, it's not a user ID. It's a library ID, actually. Uh, if I type in the URL that that brings us to, it's this thing called Hi by 4AQD. I am so surprised that they managed to snipe a four-character username and use it specifically for this ARG. But whatever. You've got this model high. And what you've actually got to do is you've got to open Robot Studio. Uh, if you open Robot Studio after you've downloaded the model and uh, open it in Robot Studio. Give it a second, it will load up in a bit. And you go into a testing area. And just drag and drop it in there. Uh, it's a part. It's got a sound, a click detector, an explosion, a force field, a mesh, a point light, a proximity, all of the stuff. There's nothing of note inside this entire thing apart from in this mesh where it says robots asset ID slash this number. Uh, if you actually take this number, uh, this is another user ID. It's kind of cleverly disguised because it's an asset ID, but if you go onto a robots user ID with that number, the only reason I twigged that is because 28 is a very recent account number for a Roblox ID. I think they're up to starting with 30 again now. We've gone past the next 10 million. Not 10 million. Have I counted that wrong? Sorry, 3 billion mark. Damn. But yeah, a random Trombacon. If you scroll down a bit, you'll look at these groups and notice it's kind of strange because every single group here has kawaii in the name. Uh, what you've actually got to note here is... You're actually expected to check every single group and note that this one is made by a bacon with a very, very weird name. Uh, account age very, very recent as well. Uh, what you have to do, do here is you've got to join this group, and the group shout for this is disguised... Sorry, it's hidden by actually joining the group. In this case, there's a shout here, and it tells you the password, which is spies in disguise. So, that's the password for Amethyst. It took a very long time for me to actually go and join that group. Someone, I think it was Jacob, told me that the group was important. I forget who it was. Jacob. Yeah, it was Jacob. I'll link him in the description. Anyway. Up next, Cyberzone. Right. This was the last one to get solved. It is also the most simple one to solve. It is so incredibly stupid how you solve this. <laughs> anyway. I hope you like obbies, because you've got to get to ARG Homic. Can I roam travel, please? No? I would like to roam travel, please. There we go. Anyway. You've got to go to Cyber Homic. Not Cyber Homic. ARG Homic. Either way. All the way down here. Find a button on the back of a cylinder. You should already know this if you're going for this homic. Gotta do a brief little obby. Nothing too serious. Hop on up here, through here, that's a teleporter. Go over to the sphere, there's a hole in the sphere. Climb up the truss. Just for normal ARG stuff. All the way down here. There's not much to commentate on this jumps. They're all pretty simple. Hop down here, do that right there. Right. Here's the house for ARG. You don't actually go in here. Uh, you actually hop down all the way over here on the left down there. If you go down here head over to the left and look off the side of the platform that you're standing on, you'll find the 250. It's pretty dark here, so it's hard to see, but there it is, 250. Come on over here. 
Oh, UC2 MK, all of that. Again, this is a YouTube channel link. If I head onto YouTube and I paste that link in, uh, you'll find this. Nothing in the playlists. If you check the about though, it says Hebrew is important. This didn't used to be here, it was added recently. But yeah, Hebrew is important. It took absolutely forever for anyone to do this, but what you're actually meant to do here is you're meant to go to your YouTube settings and change the language to Hebrew. Where is it? Hebrew. Right there. The ninth password is Spectacularius. It took so long for people to find that. There you go, it's referenced even there. Can I change my language back? Anyway, Spectacularius is the password. Back to English. Nice. Spectacularis. I believe we've got two more now. Trollhattan and Celestial Dome. Let's go for Trollhattan. Right. Trollhattan, the 250. This was the second last 250 found. And in my opinion, it's got the hardest puzzle. It's also got the best puzzle, in my opinion. Uh, but that's because it is the kind of stuff I enjoy doing. I like these type of puzzles. Uh, where is it? Trollhattan. This is a very, very technical one, because you need to know Roblox pretty much inside and out to be able to do it. You jump up this window here. Jump up this window here. You've got to jump onto this tree branch there. It's pretty hard to see. Then you come on over here. Just make sure you don't accidentally hop off of these windows. But either way, once you've wrapped around the entire thing, you'll find the 250 right here above this window. Pretty small by comparison to the others. Right, and you'll come here. It says 170-899-6434, up one. What you've got to do is you've got to increase every single one of those numbers by one. So you get 280900, sorry, 281900545. And that, again, is another user ID. So if you copy that and go to this user ID, oh, pasted that in the wrong place, and go to that user ID, you'll get not a chombot, not a chombot. Again, I'm going to ask for dev help here because I'm not entirely sure if this is correct or not, but all of these badges, all of these groups, absolutely everything here is a red herring. This description looks incredibly suspicious. But it's not relevant. It's a red herring. There's nothing important inside the game either. At least to my knowledge. There could be, and I could have skipped a step, and I could have missed it. If so, if you're a dev. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but let me know. <laughs> what you actually have to do here is you have to use the Roblox Games API in order to get the universe ID of the game. So you've got to get the user ID, and then you've got to get the universe ID of the games it owns. So if I get the user ID here and paste it in here into the Roblox API for the games, it will tell me that it has a universe ID, not a, not a game ID, a universe ID of 2839, all of that. Uh, the place ID there is 727 thing. Uh, that's the place ID, that's what appears in the URL, but we can't query badges with a place ID. We have to get the universe ID, this 28 number, which is the one that appears in the library, I believe. If you do slash library slash could be wrong. No, okay, ignore me. Sorry, I've got that wrong. But either way, you've got to get the universe ID. You've got to get the universe ID of the game to be able to query its badges. Uh, so if I go to roblox.com slash doc slash badges. No, I've typed that in wrong. Robots.com slash dot slash badges. Uh, you can't use badges API v2. You've got to use badges API v1. And you head to... Where is it? Universe ID slash badges. So if you take the universe ID we just found of the game. 2839, all of that. And try and find any hidden badges on this game you'll find that there is one. It's called 2001, and it has this ID. So if I go to uh, just any old badge link, for example this, little guy, and I paste in that badge ID, 
uh, we get this badge, which was hidden initially in the terrain incident game. You can't see that normally. It's not anywhere in here. This game pass is also a massive red herring, I believe. Uh, I haven't done anything with it. But yeah, it gives us this badge, and the image here is a kind of really stretched W and an M. That's actually the logo for the Wayback Machine. If you go into the Wayback Machine and paste in... And, sorry, and try to go back in time for this specific badge... Uh, oops, have I copied the wrong thing? Regardless, sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll post the URL link I've already got for it. It definitely exists. If you go back in time and you get the game link, sorry, the bad, you go to the Wayback Machine for this specific badge, you go to the 2121, sorry, the 2021 tab, it was archived on the 5th of September 2021. And if you go back and see that archive, if it will load, can it load? Wayback Machine's pretty slow. It's like that. And it says the password is QWERTY UEOP QWERTY UEOP. That, in my opinion, is the hardest one because API usage is relatively unknown. Uh, I was pretty happy with this one because it was my first guess and there was someone in the Discord saying that I would not get it without a hint. <laughs> anyway. QWERTY UEOP QWERTY UEOP. Right, up next, Celestial Dome. So if we hop in Celestial Dome, and we go to a very specific island in Celestial Dome, we find the 250 decal, just like normal. This is also a very, very simple one, much like Cyber, but I, I think it was it the one? I think it, I think it was the one that was solved first. I think. I could be wrong. I wasn't watching all that much. But regardless... I'm not sure why the time tweens like that when you join, but this is going to be quite a bit of walking, so I'm going to ramble for a bit by the time we get there. What was I saying earlier? Yeah, I recently learned that it was pronounced Tomic instead of Chomic, so all of my past videos I've been saying it wrong apparently, which is pretty annoying to me. I still say it wrong now, I'm trying to correct myself whenever I say it. It's not Chomic, it's a Polish word, it means Homic, so it's Homic means hamster. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, fun fact, there's actually a website, Homik Uj, I'm not going to pronounce this right, right but it's C-H-O-M-I-K-U-J dot P-L for dot Poland, which is where the original source material for it came from. Uh, just a little bit of trivia, it's, uh, if you know what, what Bonzi Buddy is, I don't know what else to compare it to other than Bonzi Buddy, I'm sorry, it's doing that a really bad that's not doing that justice but it's basically a similar thing for file exploring and uploading and it's just basically a little hamster that sits on your desktop which is pretty cool and that's where the inspiration of this game come from i guess for the image at least anyway that was a tangent not much else to talk while we explore celestial dome we're trying to get to that island all the way over there Emceptional, one of the developers, or was it Theodoric? One of the two sent me a DM that they said where they basically were just joking about and Theo said, hey, what if we make a Find the Homics game? As like a joke, and then they actually started doing it. Because <laughs> Emceptional had a lot of Robux at the time and they thought it would be fun. Anyway, there's the 250 down here. You hop in there, and you come over here. We've got this code here. This is something called the Wakandan Alphabet. Uh, if you've seen the movie Black Panther... Oh, I've copied my notes rather than the actual URL. But yeah, if you've seen the movie Black Panther, this is the alphabet they've used in that movie. Uh, it's completely custom to that movie, actually, in fact. Anyway. They've used it here to encrypt a phrase. For example, if we look at that upside-down pitchfork kind of shape there, we notice it's a C, and if we look at that upward pitchfork, it's an A. And if you go through every single letter, C-A-R-M-E-N-S-A-N-D-I-E-G-O. It spells out Carmen San Diego. C-A-R-M-E-N-S-A-N-D-I-E-G-O. Not the killer fish. Very different thing. Oh no, I just shut down the music. 
Just keep that playing. That's unfortunate. Oh well. I meant to close the tab. Sorry about that. Anyway, Carmen San Diego, and that's the final password. Uh, we now have all nine passwords for Heavenfall. So if we now go back into the revamp realm and type in these nine passwords one by one, it takes a while to get back into there. You've got to watch that cutscene again, and you've got to wait for all the text to pop up, I believe, in order to even do any of it. Realm travel, revamp realm. Head on in. I'm going to activate Heavenfall again. Also, this is really cool. I really like this. I love animated on it. Anyway, you head into revamp realm again. Blast down the scroll bar a couple of times. Five times, actually. Activate Heavenfall. Activate it again. Watch the cutscene play out. Uh, and then you've got to paste in the nine passwords that you found. Uh, again, in order, those are Maslow, Askew Homic, Ubiquitous, September, 6MGST6253 Homic 47, sorry, 42727, Spies in Disguise, Spectacularius, Quirty Ueop, Quirty Ueop, and Carmen San Diego. There is no specific order you need to enter them in. That's just in the order that they appear in this text box here. Text box here. Uh, I believe you've got to wait for them all to fall down. I'm going to start with Cyber, because it's the one right here, so I can show you what happens when you do it. It's really cool, this is. Anyway. Cyber. What was Cyber again? Cyber was Spectacularius, I believe. So in chat, you type in Spectacularius. And it will disappear, launch off into the sky. We've activated the energy cube. So if you go through and do that for every single password, Maslow is case sensitive. I'm not sure about all the others. I haven't tried it. Askew Homic. Ubiquitous. September. You will hear a sound effect when it plays. I've got the game audio turned off right now, unfortunately, so you can't hear that in my game. But you'll know you've typed it in right if you hear the audio. Spies in Disguise. Quirty Ui up, Quirty Ui up. Carmen San Diego. And with that, the puzzles are done. We have completed the puzzle part of this. Now it gets fun. And I mean really fun. Uh, so there's... You get teleported to, he to heaven quickly right here. And... Yeah, so you get teleported to heaven, and inside of heaven is a relatively large, fairly, it's not incredibly easy, but it's fairly easy, obby, that you've got to complete. Uh, again, I suck at commentating these, so I'm just going to go through them and say anything of interest. This is on a slant, you've got to do a wrap around here. Uh, do this wrap here, hop onto this. I believe this obby is easier than the owl one, <laughs> which is funny to me, because you've got to do owl to get to this one. If you can do owl, you can 100% do this one. Oh, I'm jumping from the wrong side. You've got to jump inwards there. Jump onto this truss, climb up here, climb up here. Walk on all the way down here. Uh, if you fall here, you're falling back to the start, I believe, so be careful not to. Uh, you don't have to do any walk-arounds here, in case you were worried. You've just got to kind of slot yourself through them. Uh, where do you go from here? Oh, this is a long jump. Sorry if I messed this up. Nice. Anyway. Continuing on. Up this truss. Jumping back here. Jumping round. That's a wedge there. To the side here. You don't collide with any of these lampposts, by the way, so don't worry about hitting them. Tiny bit more. Almost there. Following the path along. I wonder if there are any secrets hidden in this place. I haven't had the time to look. I might check that out later. Anyway. Jumping around here. Up this truss. 
squeeze in there. That's not collidable, only the darker bit of it is. You will fall through it otherwise. Onto this truss. I believe this is the last section. Yeah. Squeezing through here. Up we go. This area looks beautiful, by the way. Up this ladder here. Atomic Energy Solutions Incorporated. This was the sign that dropped down with the Cyber uh, Energy Cube, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Uh, in fact, everything that dropped from the sky was a fragment from this heaven area, I believe. One of them had one of the propellers on it, in fact. Anyway, click the button here. And this conveyor will launch. And this is where the real fun begins. I'll let you witness what happens at the start. I'll explain how to do it as we go through. I'll tell, I'll share with you my techniques as well. Because I've got a few. A few that I haven't tried out, but I know of. But I'll try and explain them to you. Boss fight. You get a sword with you. You can't use this sword yet. This The, the hummock has a health bar. It has a shield, by the way. So you, you, you can't actually attack it with your sword yet. Your sword is useless. Uh, you've basically just got to keep on dodging attacks here. You do not regenerate health until he does a certain attack where blue, green, and red spheres will come out, emanate from him. You want to avoid the red ones and hit the blue and green ones. The blue ones, if launched in the right direction, facing him, will deal 25... Yeah, I'll show you now. The green ones heal you. The blue ones, if launched at him will deal 25 damage. Oh, I missed it. I got unlucky. But they'll deal 25 of his health. Once its health reaches zero, that's not actually its health, that's its shield. Once the blue health bar reaches zero, you get to start attacking with your sword. And the blue orbs will stop doing 25 damage. They'll start doing eight. So you want to get up close and personal only once you have gotten rid of the blue health bar. Because the blue health bar is its shield. You cannot attack it. It will actually harm you if you try to attack it while that shield is active. This attack's pretty difficult. Keep your distance here. And just try and weave through. Jump if you want to. I prefer not to. If it gets close, just try and evade a little bit. Here we go, this attack. Bonk it at him. Bonk it at him. Keep bonking it. If you get lucky, you can do it in one go. Oh, I so close. This one, you can just keep your distance again. Just stay far back. It's all just about timing your jumps. There is one attack in particular that I haven't got yet, but I really want to explain because a ton of people seem to have difficulty with it. Uh, this one. Uh, not this one, actually. Sorry. This one, just stay still and remain calm. Just weave yourself through the swords as they drop down. It's actually incredibly easy to do if you just take it slow. This one, try and stay in the same place and just hop over twice. It will come back in the opposite direction. You can time it perfectly. Pretty easy to do there. Alright, time to kill him. Well, assuming a blue one comes in my direction, that is. There we go. His health is done. I can now attack him with my sword. Just take your time over here. Now is a good time to attack. I recommend twisting your camera really fast. It deals more damage to him if it's attacked down. Because it, every time it hits it, it will deal one health of damage. Your sword will deal one health. This does... Oh, don't even try to attack him during this attack. You won't get anything done. You will just die. <clears throat> uh, what was I saying? Keep an eye on your health. Try not to get too close. Because touching him directly does damage you as well. You want to wait until you get to... Oh, this attack. Right. Walk diagonal to the crosses. Uh, if you do it in the right direction, you will never get hit. People have so much difficulty with that attack. What I recommend doing here is not going for the blue ones unless they're right next to you. Always prioritize the green ones if you're low on health. Because they heal you, and that's the only way you can heal yourself here. You can attack on this one. I don't like attacking on this one. I'll tell you what attack phase I like attacking on the most when it comes. 
I'll get a few sneaky damage points in there. Don't even try to attack during this. Not worth it. You will just straight up die. Here we go over three. Just to get into a more central position. Oh, he's getting close. This one. Don't attack during this one. Just take your distance. Stay away. It's all about dodging this. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Don't try and attack because you have no idea where the damaging ones are going to come from. It's not worth it. Hit some blue ones back if you're on full health. <laughs> Again, this one sucks. You've got to be far away from him for this attack. Try not to let him get too close to you. <clears throat> oh, here. You can just jump at 90 degrees after every single attack for this one. I'm low on health, so I'm going to take a step back. If you're far back, just line yourself up between them. Oh, I'm dead. Just take your distance. Keep your distance. Deal some damage. Heal some health. I've got very unlucky with my placements there. This attack. I like to damage him on this attack because it's very easy to keep track of what's going on. You can also, he's also stationary and you can just deal tons of damage. You can just keep piling it on. Unless you're stupid like me and die. Okay, I'm not going to attack him anymore. I need to be... Bruh. Again, if you're in this uncomfortable position like I am, you have to go for the larger gap of the two. Otherwise, you'll just get hit by the two in between. <clears throat> Take your time, be patient, and wait for it to... Wait, wait to realize what section you've got to jump to. This is not a good attack to actually attack him. Nor is this one. If he launches anything from the center, it's generally not a good idea to attack during that one. The only one I really like to attack on is the one where the swords come hailing down from the ceiling. <clears throat> because I find it's just the easiest one to deal damage with. Again, move diagonally. No matter what you do, if you move diagonally, he cannot hurt you. Really, really easy to dodge. you got to have good reactions for it, but still, if you know how to, it's really, really simple. Again, take your heals if you can. If not, launch back. <clears throat> if you've got max health, prioritize launching. If you've not, prioritize health. Because you're going to take a lot of damage when you're trying to attack him. Because if you're too close to him, or if you touch him, you will deal. he will deal damage to you. Just like hitting any other projectile. <clears throat> just like that. I do not like that attack. Especially when he just comes up really close to you and just does it. <clears throat> He's not giving me a nice attacking move yet. All of the ones he's given me recently are ones that are very, very difficult to damage him in. Oh. Again, prioritize heals if you can. <laughs> but deal damage if you're very close to killing him or... That's always an unwelcome surprise. Deal damage if you're very close to killing him or if you have max health. Bro, he's not doing the swords attack at all. I'm crying. Time your jumps here and just swing your sword around and your camera. Swinging your sword around deals more touches per second because you're touching him more often. And that kills him. And there you go. You've just defeated the boss for Milky Way. <laughs> Happy Will's victory screen pops up. You have now gotten the hardest homic in the entire game. It definitely lives up to that title, I guarantee you. The puzzles for this are absolutely incredible. Uh, the difficulty for the just plain hidden spots is way up there. There's some pretty difficult obbies as well to get it. It's just an all-around very, very, very good homic. You walk into him there, you get it. There's a ton of people I have to credit for this. The people who solved it first. Levitator Levy for helping me out. Same for Jacob. Uh, I'll link the, either their Discord apps or whatever in the description. Or their YouTube channels. Depending on what it is. But regardless. 
this is incredible. Congratulations to the first Victors. And yeah, what a fitting 250th comic. Ah. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching.